In this video from The Business Mentors, we talk about success, both professional and personal. We talk about what does it mean to be successful? Well, how do you measure it? Once we know how we measure it, then we can understand what it means to be successful. So how do you measure it? Is it wealth, social status, lifestyle, career and position, happiness? Chances are it's a combination of all the above. I encourage you to sit back, take a moment, and make your own definition for success, and write it down. Some people I run into say, I want to be successful. I want to be a millionaire. If I'm a millionaire, then I'm successful and everything else will work out. What I can tell you is that money doesn't buy happiness, but it certainly can pave the way. That being said, take a moment, create your own definition for success, your own success mantra. One of mine is, success is the accomplishment of my goals in a meaningful way that fulfills me spiritually, emotionally, and monetarily, enhancing my life while providing others with the value to help fulfill their goals and help them on their journey. This is really the mantra that we use for the business mentors, because we're here to provide value and help others out. So achieving success and goals, it's a matter of attitude and perspective. In my opinion, you need to be positive. There's a great little story from uh, this website, the one you feed.net, the tale of two wolves, which is really this ancient, uh, they, I don't know, they refer back to being a Native American story, if you will. Uh, a grandfather's talking with his grandson, and he says, there are two wolves inside of us, which are always at battle. One is a good wolf, which represents things like kindness, bravery, and love. The other is a bad wolf, which represents things like greed, hatred, and fear. The grandson stops and thinks for about it for a second, and then he looks up to his grandfather and says, grandfather, which one wins? The grandfather replies, the one that you feed. I couldn't agree more. Negativity, positivity, your attitude, your outlook, it's all about what you feed and which one you feed you will get. It becomes your filter for life and everything you experience goes through that filter and it will change your perspective. A great example of perspective is this photo here. Do you see a young lady or an old lady? Do you see that big nose, that mouth of hers, or do you see a lady looking away wearing like a feathered hat? Well, it's actually both, depending on how you look at it. So again, it's all a matter of perspective. Following up on that, you need to find balance, find an upper hand, and have patience. Things don't happen overnight. Change and reaching goals takes time. It's important to work at your goals every day, little by little. A little bit every day is worth more than doing nothing all week and working for just 12 hours on the weekend to make up for it. So do a little bit every day and you'll chomp away at your goals. That's the end of this quick video on success. There's a lot more in the blog post associated with this video that this video is found in and you can find the link to that blog post in the description below. Thanks for watching.